will. I will. But it's necessary. Yes. Thank you. Any other comments, questions, suggestions? So I, I come back Monday, uh, leave Friday. So it's, as you can tell, it's a very short trip. Um, we, we certainly won't learn everything that's going on, but my contention is that um, we can't solve this at our border. The, the problem is in, uh, is in Central America, in, in the countries of, of origin. So, uh, you know, I've, I've got three kids, and I can only imagine how bad things would have to be for me to put my child on a train that's going to take them a thousand miles to a foreign country where they don't speak the language. So, how, how do we help Honduras and Guatemala and El Salvador? Another idea or another issue that we're working on is immigration and working on, uh, have a great day, working on comprehensive immigration reform and also trying to help these families and young children who are leaving Central America and coming to the United States. Uh, thank you for, for joining us. Uh, we are working with our colleagues in Congress to let them know that the border is safe, that we have an opportunity to help these children, to help these families and do so in a way that is good for all concerned, including those who live in our community. Uh, I have the chance to, to tell my colleagues in Congress that El Paso is the safest large city in the country today, that our community with ICE, with Border Patrol, with charities like Annunciation House has done a terrific job in helping refugees and those who are seeking asylum from very violent situations. I'm not gonna, we're not gonna figure it out in a couple of days, but I think you know, we as a country spend more time there thinking about those countries who are working with people there. We'll do a much better job of stemming the demand uh, that people have to leave there. And they're not Airstrikes in Iraq were contemplated. We just announced that we're flying 